What's up everybody, welcome to We Do Tech. Now we all know GPUs and CPUs are the main components to be able to play games and get some nice high frame rates. But what about memory? How much memory do you really need to be able to play triple A titles? Is 8 gigs enough? Should you upgrade to 16 gigs? Or should you just go all out and go for 128 gigs? Well, that's what I want to find out today. So for my testing, I use my system with an i5-3570K running at 3.4 GHz, my EVGA GTX 980 super clocked, and then for memory, I had a max of 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance memory running at 1600 MHz. All of the games were also tested in 1080p, so no 4K, and to be clear, I'm only testing the amount of memory needed for games, not the speed. But if you do want a video covering what speed you need for games, drop a like and perhaps I'll make one. Also, this video is only for games and not any productivity or streaming work, so just keep that in mind as well. So for my benchmarks, I tested 32 gigs, 24, 16, 8 and 4 gigs of memory on a bunch of games and benchmarking applications. Now, keep in mind that some games do use more memory than others and I couldn't test all of the games out there, but from all my testing I did find a good enough result. But with that, let's get into the benchmarks right after this. Do you live in South Africa and want to get yourself some awesome new gaming products? Well, check out Rebel Tech. They have extremely low prices and stock all the major brands like Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, Corsair and many more. They also have the new Ryzen Threadrippers in store, and when you purchase any selected ASUS ROG monitors, you will get a copy of PUBG for free. So check out the link in the video description to go visit Rebel Tech. Now then, as you guys could see, for the non-gaming benchmarks, there really weren't any major differences. Whether using 32 gigs or 4 gigs, the results were the same, pretty much across the board. And as for the gaming benchmarks, it was also pretty much the same. 32, 24, 16 and 8 were neck and neck, and 4 gigs was just behind them. Most of the games ran fine on only 4 gigs of memory, but I did see a load times and texture loads increased the lower we went. Most of the games were fine on medium to ultra, but Wildlands and Tomb Raider did not want to run on ultra at all. I got major frame drops ranging from 3fps to 33fps, so ultra was not stable at all with those games. But medium and high were fine on those two and I could play it no problem. Now, I have to say I am quite amazed that you can still play AAA titles on such high settings with only 4 gigs of memory. I thought you would at least need 8 gigs, but I was wrong, 4 was enough to play most of the games, but I would still recommend 8 gigs. New games coming out will need more memory and 8 gigs will just run a lot smoother for a more enjoyable gameplay. 
but you don't really need 16 or 32 or even more than that to be able to play games. Maybe if you go to 4K you will need a bit more, but for just 1080p gaming 8 gigs will run perfectly. And that's pretty much it for this benchmarking video. Uh, I hope it was informative for you guys. I was pretty amazed that you can still play most of the AAA titles. I thought you would at least need 8 gigs, but it doesn't look like that. 4 gigs is still enough. Uh, for games like Counter-Strike and everything like, like that, I didn't really test those games, but 4 gigs should run perfectly on those. Minecraft, I know that it is a bit more RAM intensive, so you might need a bit more for that. 4 gigs might just be a bit low, uh, but I, I haven't really tested that, so I haven't played Minecraft in years now. So yeah, but that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. And if you want me to do more videos like this, uh, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you do have some suggestions, let me know down there as well. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I will check you guys next time. Cheers guys.